Hello, creative people. Welcome back to Ark Survivors Evolved. Today, we're going to make kibble. We're going to make some superior kibble. We're going to make some regular kibble. And we're going to try to make some basic and simple, too. I mean, we'll make it. I don't know if we'll actually use it, but I just want to make all of it so that you can see how to make all four of them. Um, in a later episode, we'll make the exceptional and the extraordinary. Uh, but right now, we don't have the items for that because for the exceptional, um, I usually go to is Rex and Theory Eggs. Uh, we haven't gotten either one of those. And then for the extraordinary, there's like a little like, I don't know what he looks like. I, I, I always, I don't want to even say his name. It starts with an H. Hesperonius, I don't know, I'm murdering that. But yeah, it's this little like duck thing that always hangs out by the water. Um, when you kill it, we were, we were killing it in earlier episodes and it gives you organic polymer, but we're gonna tame that sucker because it's those things and yetis, the, the yudis, not the yetis, yetis. Uh, the yudis, which are the crazy things in the, the winter biome that uh, when they roar, they buff up everybody's attack. Um, they're usually surrounded by Carnos, but those two are the best, in my opinion, for um, the Extraordinary Eggs. And we don't have any of those four. So today we're going to do the Basic, the Simple, the Regular, and the Superior. So as always, if you like this video and you're excited to learn about Kibble, hit that like button. Uh, be sure to hit subscribe so that you can follow along as we survive the Ark. My monkey just pooped. Gross. Yeah. So. We're going to do some things. So, wanted to give you a quick base tour. We got the, uh, the industrial cooker. We got two bins for cooking the regular... Uh, cooked meat that turned that into jerky. So we got 13 of those so far. It's a very slow process to create jerky. So that's the cooked meat. And then in this one, we have the prime. So you get prime when you kill some of the larger dinosaurs. Um, the reason why I cooked the industrial cook, when I <laughs> cooked, I cooked the industrial cooker. The reason I crafted the industrial cooker is because when you kill something with prime, the prime meat spoils super fast. So you need to be able to cook that off. So I get the industrial grill, which another drawback is with the campfires that I had over here, it only, like, the prime meat doesn't stack. So you're, like, putting spark powder and then two, and then you got the rest of the prime meat on your inventory spoiling, and then you get a cooked prime meat, and then you add one. So it just spoils really fast. Where with this industrial grill, dude, this is the grill of grills. This Mastercraft ain't got nothing on this. I wish I could name, rename this. You can't. But we got the cooking pot over here. Um, we got some of the things that we already need in here. Uh, fiber pretty much is a, a, a necessary for all things related to uh, cooking. Uh, all the recipes, I, I think they all need fiber. Of course, we got our water over here. So we'll fill up our our water jars and we're gonna have to go we're gonna be doing a lot of back and forth back and forth uh, eventually I want to get the industrial cooker but in a second I will show you why we didn't create that yet so we'll head that way right now so we'll head that way right now so I can show you guys what I mean so we put Pretty much everything that was in the house is now pretty much in the warehouse. I think the only thing that's left in the house is a few like extra tools and all the kitchen stuff is in the house. But everything else is out here. So we got our building supplies that are there, our saddles and trophies that are there. And then inside I have wall to wall storage starting out with our put our BPs and our personal items in here all the way down to pearls. These are not full, as you can see, most of them are zeros, but we got a box for pretty much everything. And then for the, the common things, we got plants, we got rocks, and we got trees, and I'm not separating them out because that's just absurd. 
We also have the fabricator that allows us to create the fancy things. So it needs gas. The way that you make gas is you add oh, blah, blah, blah. The way you make gas is by adding oil and hide into that thing, the refining forge, which I think probably no, nope, no. Nope. Hide, wood, oil, fire, gas. You'll add the gas to the fabricator. I think it actually prompts you if you don't have gas, it says you need to add gas to this. But then once you have it, then you can create all the more fancy things like high-end storages and the chemistry bench so that you don't have to use the mortar and pestle. This thing's super fast. You can do the industrial forge, which will create crazy amounts of metal instead of using the refining forge. You can do bunk beds. But I wanted to show you this. It was, here's the industrial grill. So this is where I made it. Yeah, right here. The other thing that we need is the industrial cooker. But as you can see, it needs 1,800 metal and 300 polymer. Crazy. Yeah, that's not going to happen right now considering we're not flying. And I'm going up onto the hill with a parasaur and an Iggy to bring like 400 metal down to put in this single refining forge. Yeah. Our next base will have the industrial cooker. But for now, we're going to be using the cooking pot. Another thing is uh, when you're needing this industrial cooker is you need a crazy amount of polymer it needs 300 polymer so the way that you make polymer is either a by making it in the fabricator using cementing and obsidian which is crazy expensive because to make cementing paste you need rocks and chitin or keratin so it's this big old drawn out process to make some polymer the fastest way you can do it is you can come over here to the smithy you can make yourself some fur like so fur 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 five make sure you got your shoes but once you get fur you can go over to the snow biome and murder some penguins and they'll give you your polymer and it's organic it's got a timer but you can get a lot of it for free just by murdering penguins let's make these guys happy we also got another uh ma shops she's white her name's nikita she was right outside the base we got her up so sam is trying to handle Sam is trying to please all three of these women. They're making lots of eggs. He's a happy guy, aren't you? Yeah. We also got some parasaurs. We got the Delos still pumping out eggs. We got the happy guys. We also went and got another Iggy, which is why there's two eggs stacked here. Because E.T. E.T. has a boyfriend. He doesn't have a name yet. We haven't been introduced. I don't know his name. It just says that. And he's got levels, but we're not going to do them yet. We also got another Triceratops. We still need to get a male so that we can pump out some Triceratops eggs, which would be awesome. Ruby and Red had a baby. It's not this thing. That's just an egg, just like this. We're getting lots of eggs. I like it. The baby maker. Oh, give it. Give it. Nope. Yep. Got it. But yeah, Baby Maker and Baby Monitor are making everybody pump out the eggs. You even got some Delos over here. But yeah, we uh, so one of my friends came over for, well, one of my friends came over early for New Year's. I had a group of friends come over, and they were watching me play Ark, and they're like, let's breed something. So we bred Ruby and Red, and we got, I don't even know where he's at. I got him out here on patrol. He's out here playing base defense. I don't know where he's at. He's, he's, I don't know. He's out. I put him on the naval wandering and aggressive. We have an aggressive a pumpkin, an aggressive turtle out here somewhere. Hey, I got a message. Um, we got a, an aggressive turtle out here fighting the world. His name's Blaze. Um, red has a red shell. Ruby has red legs. He was born all red. Um, and the reason why we named his Blaze is because the dino, the the uh, turtle eggs, they need like crazy. I was trying to see if I could see him from up here. I don't see him anywhere. Maybe he, I hope he didn't die. I was pumping HPs. But anyways, turtle eggs they need like crazy heat to be incubated. So like up here, I had like nine freaking campfires, and then the egg was right in the middle. So when he was born, he was born of the fire. So we named him Blaze, the fastest turtle ever. So he's out he's out playing base defense somewhere. But yeah, that's Ruby and Red's kid. But today what we're gonna talk about 
now that I've shown you the updates. Oh, yeah, we fixed, we finished the wall, too. Look at that. It's so pretty. We're running out of space, though. We're going to have to, like, move. And I feel like we're going to move to, like, 50-50, which is over that way. That way. Um, right in the middle of the map. And we're going to build out of metal. And we're going to build a quite large base. Because we're going to get T-Rexes and a whole bunch of fun creatures. And... For one thing, the Rex won't even fit through that door. So he can't we can't get a Rex or he'd be sitting outside and, and sad because he'd be by himself. But today, after I've spent the last eleven minutes giving you the quick update, we are gonna talk about kibble. So we're gonna jump over here. And like I said, we have the cooking pot. The cooking pot is an awesome thing. It needs water, it needs spark powder. I use spark powder. You can use wood. But a lot of times when you use wood, once charcoal gets added to the mix, charcoal does some weird things when you're putting stuff in the cooking pot. So you can add berries in your cooking pot, and I can make purple dye. But some of the berries, when you add them and you add charcoal, it gives you weird colors. So I usually, unless I want that weird color, I use spark powder so I don't have to worry about the weird colors. So, yeah, that's the thing. Pretty much every recipe is going to need fiber, so I just threw a stack in there. Um, but we're just going to go right down the list. So the first thing we're going to make is some basic kibble. And it is, for my, using the dinosaurs that I have, um, we're going to be using delos and Listro eggs. So we got some delos when we were running around, and we got some, yep, there's the delos. And we're going to put the other ones back in here. Cause I just I just want one egg type, cause I want to make sure that I have enough slots, so that when I um when I put stuff, it just it's just I just want it to be fast. Like I want to be able to just like especially once you start transferring water, you just want to make it so there's nothing in your inventory, except for what you need, so that you can just run back and forth with the water, pick up the water cases, run over here, run back. It's so another reason why I want to get that industrial cooker, because the industrial cooker, once you make that, it taps into your water pipes. So then you don't even have to worry about water. You just add your ingredients, and it just it cooks. And I don't, well, I think it needs gas. So we're going to get some more of the Delo eggs. The Delos, the Delos, I forget what they look like. That's Ankies. Aguagies, Parasaurs, Oviraptors, these ones? Those are the Listros. These are the Delos. Eggs are heavy. I just realized that. Like, 70 eggs, 210 pounds. We don't need 70 eggs. We need, like, 18. So we need Delo eggs. We need cooked meat. So we're going to go in here, and we're going to get that. There's the cooked meat jerky. So cooked merch. the way you make jerky is you add cooked meat plus oil into your spark powder. In a preserving bin. You can't use the refrigerator. It doesn't work. It has to be in the preserving bin. But it's spark powder, oil, and meat will give you cooked meat jerky. Spark powder, primed cooked meat will give you prime meat jerky. We'll use that here in a little bit. But we need cooked meat. We need measure berries. As I'm just running back and forth because I'm just going down my list and I'm a guy. So... Even if your wife gives you a grocery list, you're probably you're gonna do it one thing at a time and go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, we need ama berries, which are the yellow berries, which I don't know if I have any. No, I don't. And we need tinto berries. So we need yellow and red. Jump. So we're gonna run out here and I'm just gonna take you and we're gonna go out here and go crazy maybe we'll see blaze out here maybe his name will pop up we need yellow and red so we got oh yeah we got plenty we, we're, we're already good i have no idea where blaze is at no idea i didn't see any prompts that he died so he's somewhere but i have him on <laughs> enabling enable wandering so he's literally able to just go wherever he wants so i want your yellow and red nice a hundred a hundred and we'll get your lives later 
or your levels later. So we're gonna go back in here. So now we got we got cooked meat, we got dilo eggs, we got amber berries, we got mesro berries, we got dental berries, and the fiber is already in the pot. So now we put all this in the there, and we get fire, and we wait. So every kibble you make is going to use an entire water jar. So this is what I'm talking about, like having empty inventory. Because so as it uses the water jars, I'll hit, on Xbox, I'll hold A, pick up the water jar, run over to the water, bring it back. So you just want it to like be able to quickly just transfer the items from your inventory. See, oh, there we go. Basic kibble. This pet food recipe has been carefully designed to give balanced nutrition to many smaller creatures. It includes plant fibers to help with digestion and eggs to bind the mix. Humans have difficulty digesting this. Don't eat this. That's what they said. Don't eat it. But as you see, we have an empty water jar. But I usually just let it go for a little bit. It's not like I'm going to go back and forth, back and forth every single one of them. I mean, as you can see, there's a little bit of a time difference between... Cable's getting done, so there we got two. So we'll wait for the third, and then we'll we'll run over. At this point, I feel like we're gonna make all 18 of these, and then we'll pretty much have enough basic kibble for the entire game, cause I don't use it a lot. That's my friend. Uh, did I just met? He's English. If you're seeing these prompts. Um, I started playing a new game on the side called Memories of Mars. It's very similar to this game, a little more basic, um, but you're basically on Mars and you're trying to figure out what went crazy that everybody had to leave, but you're building a base, you're mining ores, you're fighting robots. This is a cool game, but... I met him. He's English. So it was cool. It was, a, it was a cool thing. It was the first time that I've like ever... Usually I just play by myself. I, f I play with my cousins a couple of times and we'll talk on the headset. But this is the first time I've ever like been in a game and just talked to some random person. But it was cool because I was like running around and like I literally was 10 minutes into the game, like running around like a total noob. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. What do I do? I'm running up to a rock. Why can't I harvest that rock? So then I saw his name run across the screen. I'm like, ooh, people, run, 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 people. And he gave me like all the basic materials. He's like, I just saved you 12 hours of grinding. So thank you if you watch this. Thank you very much. That was very nice of you. He gave me a gun so I could defend myself. And he gave me, like, the basic armor and the, the like, first level, like, miner. And he's like, I just saved you 12 hours of grinding. Because, like, it'd be, like, on arc where you have to, like, go around and pick up an individual rock. And eventually you can make a gun. And eventually, like, you get, a, like, a little 3D printer that you can eventually, like, make your gun and... and um, the miner, and then you just kind of go from there. But it's the first part of the game was very grindy. So I'm very glad I met that guy. But it was cool. We had a nice little little chat, and then I was off. But yeah, he just messaged me. He's probably online playing, checking in to be like, hey, how's things going? And I'm like, fabulous. It was a fun game, though. You want to check it out. Memories of Mars. It just came out in March. So at this point, you got the idea. I'm actually going to stop making this kibble. Because this is getting a bit obnoxious. But you get the point. So we're going to turn the fire off so we don't waste the spark powder. And we're going to put this kibble in the bin. So we got basic. So the next thing is simple. So we need packy eggs or over raptor eggs. So we got two over raptor eggs. I don't have any packies. That's what this thing is. I, I started taming them so I could get their eggs. But that's what Friar Tuck is. 
he's the male. I need to get females. I almost had a female, and then the new Triceratops decided to want that she wanted to fight, and she got killed. Because I she I was taming the Triceratops, the new Iggy, and this dude all at the same time, and then the female version of him came along, and I was shooting her but then all of a sudden the triceratops got tamed and of course for some reason the default is attack my target i don't know why i would think that the dinosaur when it first gets tamed should be passive and then you can decide if you wanted to attack your target because that's a bit aggressive that like as soon as the dinosaur gets tamed it's just automatically going to attack what you're attacking regardless she died but eventually we'll get more packy eggs and then we'll mix the packies with the the baby maker and the baby monitor um, but for now all we have is two so for this we need the over raptor eggs we need fish which I never make because it's like the worst it's almost as it's almost worse than berries but fish we need carrots so we need four carrots So we get the carrots. Two, three. We'll get an extra one because the timers are pretty quick. And then a lot of the chibi just walks through doors. He's like, I don't see a door. And then we need the measure berries. And I'm just going to put this meat back here because I'm trying to keep everything organized. OCD. But yeah, that's all the stuff. So we need Dilo eggs. Fish, Rockaroo, Mejos, and Fiber. So we'll add that in there and we'll make fire. So we'll let this, we're only at, we got two. We'll make two. We'll have, we'll have seven basic, I think seven or eight basic, two simples, and then we'll make some regulars. So I'll bring you back once these are done. Or I'll just keep you here. It wasn't that long. It's bright green. So, this pet food recipe has been carefully designed to give balanced nutrition to many small creatures. It includes plant fibers to help digestion and egg to bind the mix. Humans have difficulty digesting this. You'll, you'll catch on to this that you, you shouldn't eat the kibbles. Another thing to remember is that each dinosaur prefers a typical kibble. So this one is specified to small creatures. If I were to give this to a large creature, it would actually have less taming effectiveness than like giving it a piece of meat. So you always want to make sure that you're giving the right kibble to the right dinosaur. So in the description below, I'm going to link out to the, the Dodex that I use personally for this kind of stuff um, so that you can make sure that you're always using the, the right things for the right animals. Otherwise, all of this, like you can see like how much time I'm putting into this um, in the last like four or five episodes and even getting the crops and everything. So it's a lot of work to get the kibble. So the last thing you want to do is waste it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make 10 regular kibbles. Actually, we're going to make two just so I can show you the video, and then I'll make the other ones off screen. Because as you can tell, this is starting to get repetitive. So regular kibble, for me, with the dinosaurs I have, I'm using the Anki and the turtle. So we need tur those eggs. So we're going to specifically use the turtle right now. We need long grass. We need potatoes, we need fiber, and we need cooked meat. So we come over here to cook meat. And for some reason, I think I wrote this down. This is where I need, I don't need cooked meat, I need the jerky. Yeah, cooked meat jerky. My notes, I wrote the wrong thing. So I was thinking cooked meat, that's the lower ones. This needs jerky. So there we go. We put it in. We get this, and this, and this, so we can go get these in water, and we'll let that go. 
This should be the last trip because I'm only going to make two here. And then we're going to make two of the superior. All right. So fiber, turtle eggs, meat jerky, long grass, taters, fiber. Yep. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. As Matthew McConaughey would say. Oh, look at that. Yeah, buddy. Regular kibble. This specialty built-in pet food is a favorite. It's a favorite of many medium. Medium. Remember, see? Sizes. Containing only the finest natural ingredients, it provides pets with the balanced nutrition they need and with a taste they can't resist. They'll warm up to you in no time. Again, not intended for human consumption. Don't eat it. And we got two. Nice. So we're going to put this back. Look at this. We're doing it. We're doing it. So we'll put the... Oh, oh. Yeah, that one's that one. Okay. And then we'll go back over here. And we'll put that back there. So now we got basic. We got simple. And we got regular. The next is superior. So for what the dinosaurs I have, it's going to be ma shop eggs which are these ones and we don't need 31 again i don't know why i did that i'm gonna do two to just show you the example so we need ma shops we need citronellas so we're gonna need to get some more of those in the garden we need the sap we need mushrooms so we need some more citronellas we need two two citronellas so we'll get more than two. We'll get six because these time out pretty quick. It's the only thing bad about vegetables. Like, they, so if you feed an herbivore berries, you'll get one, uh, one type of taming effectiveness. If you feed it vegetables, it'll go faster. But you almost want to, you almost want to like, have the dinosaur already knocked out and then hopefully get to your base and get the vegetables and bring them back before they un become conscious again because the vegetables they just spoil so fast like this thing i think they got like three minute timers i mean if you throw it in a dinosaur it'll extend a little bit but not that much so we're gonna get two of these and this needs prime meat, mushrooms, citronella, in my case, inky eggs, and then the sap we got over in the redwoods in the last episode. And that gives you a superior kibble. This specialty blend pet food is a favorite of many large creatures containing only the finest natural ingredients. It provides pets with the balanced nutrition they need and with a taste they can't resist. They'll warm up to you in no time. Again, not intended for human consumption. I feel like that should be italicized and like slightly lowered. Like as a disclaimer. All right. So there we go. We got the two. We got the two. We got the two. And we're out of water. So we're going to put the prime meats back in here. Like so. And I don't know why, but I'm just storing random stuff in here. But oh, the sap as well. And I put an extra cooking pot. I forgot I want to have it in the house. And at one point I was like, oh, I need to go down by the river because I got to get water. But then I'm like, wait, no, water is in the house. So we don't need to do that. Yeah, live and you learn. So now we have basic, simple, regular, and superior. So yeah, we got... We got all the things that we need. So let's go make these guys happy. Happy? Happy? Oh, no. Wrong button. Look at that. They're so happy they laid eggs. We got three Lystro eggs. We got a Moshops. Look at all these eggs. Delos? Oh my gosh. You got like a stack of them. Crazy. There was a stack of three buttons. Buttons. I was playing the other game and like now I'm like trying to push those buttons for this game. 
I need to figure out what I can do with these. The Iggy eggs. I wonder what some, they look. They look like they're the same as like a turtle or an Inky. I'll have to look see. But yeah, I think that's gonna be the episode. Um, as always, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to turn in, tune in tomorrow, we're going to be using that superior kibble. Of course, I'm gonna make more than two pieces. But we're going to use that superior kibble to go tame a dire bear so that we can get honey because you need honey to make the extraordinary kibble. So yeah, that's going to be the thing for tomorrow. Dire bears. Redwoods. My favorite place. It's like the only place that's worse than redwoods is the freaking swamp. But we're going to do it. We're going to be brave. The monkey says we can do it. Yeah. Running with fire. But yeah, as always, my name is Josh Hines, and this is Create the Future, so you too keep creating the future. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.